Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm here at Jack Station in Colonia because there is a new initiative underway. This is to get Colonia populated by all of you guys and girls out there along with a number of player groups. Now there is a website here you can see on the screen now and I'll link it in the video description below. The plan here is to get new player groups, new factions out there into Colonia. But it's not a simple application, there is much more to it. Currently, there is a community goal underway, and the people, the group that delivers the most commodities out there, will be awarded an outpost in Colonia. This will be a planetary base, not a starport, but nonetheless, a very worthwhile reward. Now, what the website is all about, you have to head on over there, and you can pledge support to your chosen player faction. Once you've done that, any commodities that you actually deliver out here for the community goal will then be awarded towards the faction that you have actually chosen. At the end of the community goal, the top 10 factions will be moved out here or will get a base out here located in one of the 10 different systems that are open for colonization. After this initial community goal, there should be further colonization attempts whereby three player factions can be awarded bases out here every month from this point forward. It's been a very long process here, and there's been a lot of work going in behind the scenes on this, but slowly, Colonia is becoming a very real inhabited area. So once you've logged into the website there, you can choose which player faction you want to support, and there are literally dozens of groups that want to get out here. The downside perhaps is that it's highly likely that the larger player groups are going to be the first ones out here, I guess in many ways that makes sense because they are the larger groups, so perhaps they fairly deserve the first chances. But as this is an ongoing colonization attempt, pretty much everyone should eventually get their chances to get out here. It's just a matter of time. Nonetheless, it has been made into a bit of a competitive challenge. So maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's not. I guess that would really depend on your point of view on the entire thing. So what is going on within Colonia? Well, Jack Station isn't the only station out here. You can see right there I was at Colonia Dream. This is a Coriolis station and it's complete with missions and passenger missions. I've taken a few data boom delivery missions here just so that they can guide me around the area here and I'm going to deliver them to whatever other stations and outposts actually exist around here. So at the moment, Colonia is still relatively small in the terms of number of outposts and stations are out here. But I'm here with a secondary account and I've been here pretty much since Jack's arrived. It's an area I plan on staying in because I'm very much interested in watching this whole entire process unfold. And of course, not to mention that it's great to get involved in this event. So no doubt as some of you, many of you perhaps, are actually asking whether or not it's worthwhile coming all the way out here to Colonia. Well, as I say at the moment, it's still relatively uninhabited, but there are a number of stations here and there are some ongoing missions. Unfortunately, as you can see here, some of the missions still want you to take either passengers or commodities all the way back to the original inhabited bubble. Now that's pretty much a mistake and that's something that's been fixed within the beta patch. So by the time January comes around, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Now other than that, this is a very rich area in terms of exploration. Very densely packed and very, very beautiful. There's a number of ways you can get out here. One is to f follow this new Neutron Highway. This has been mapped out and you can see it on the Galactic Mapping Project. I'll leave a link in the video description. This will give you a massive boost to your jump range as you spin off every Neutron Star along the way. Unfortunately, it's a bit risky. So if you're risk averse or you don't want to take that chance, then there is the Colonia Highway here. Along this route, there are a number of outposts that you can find. These are places that you can stop off at, save your location effectively, and refuel and repair at. Now Eremus has put together a forum thread detailing all these locations, and I'll link that in the video description as well, so you can follow that path as well if you're so inclined. Colonia actually represents a very unique area within Elite Dangerous. It's both out there in the depths of space, near some very fantastic looking areas, out here you can go exploring on a whim and quite easily find many undiscovered objects. At the same time, you're situated near habited space. You can soon head back to a station and restock and repair without any problem, as well as do a mission or two. To top it all off, there is no power play out here. 
no powers have reached this far and the superpowers are also keeping their distance. You won't find any federation, alliance or empire out here either. It is very much an independent area, very much in the hands of the players. So far, Colonia has been an area of peace and cooperation and hopefully that's going to long continue. But with the arrival of new player groups out here, it's anyone's guess how that may eventually unfold. But at least the process to get here isn't one of conflict, it is one of cooperation, it's one of bringing new commodities out here, so that is something at least. And it's quite probably the correct foot to start out on here. There are some rumours, some suggestions from players that are both out here and some that are not out here, that when aliens arrive, perhaps Colonia will be the first target. But it's anyone's guess as to what will actually happen, if anything. But do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments section below. Now here is the community goal you can sign up for. You'll need to transport rares from the inhabited bubble out here to a jack station. And I've got to admit, I really do admire anyone that puts in the commitment to haul those goods out here. So far, over 500 people have got involved. So I believe this community goal ends on the 5th of January. If you're interested, do go and sign up and good luck. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.